Hello, my name is Trevor Cutmore, and today I'm going to talk to you about property education. And why do we need other people to teach us about investing our hard-earned money into property for investing? Uh, that's a really good question, but I am an advocate for mentorship and for training. Why? Because I lost money through being scammed. Why? I didn't invest in my education and thought I didn't need anyone. Now that wasn't even looking at trainers and thinking I don't want to know from them. It was just almost a, a little bit of arrogance in my own self thinking I knew it, wasn't, it was so easy. The truth is if I'd spent even 20,000 pounds on education, I would have saved myself hundreds of thousands. So don't just take my word for it. There's a lot of people out there who have made mistakes through lack of in understanding or education and take it from any walk of life in the profession that you are in you have to learn now when I was a chef I was one of the top chefs in London I was on uh, TV uh, every week on Ideal World doing stuff I was a, a TV uh, a radio chef for BBC three counties and I got really to the top of where I could be in Mayfair, Knightsbridge, they not only did I have a great salary, they gave me an apartment, all sorts of stuff. But why? Because I went to learn and learn from the best and I would absolutely um, go and sort of beg, bore and steal what I, could, what I could from the best chefs in London. So education is really, really important. And it doesn't matter, like I said, what field that you're in. You need to learn because it's going to save you time, pain and money, okay? Time, pain and money. Now, all of you have to be interested in, in saving on those three elements. So, property education is powerful. You do need a word of warning about it because you need to qualify who's gonna teach you. You need to type their name into Google. You need to find out other people who are gonna recommend them. And if you can, you need to go and see what they have done and to the level that they've done it. Um, some people have great reputations, some people don't, so you need to make that choice. But be careful because a lot of people, especially I would say younger generation you're finding, and it, it's not just them, it's, it can be people who haven't been in the industry long, just do one or two courses, they might do one deal, and then all of a sudden they're an expert and they're a mentor. You need to watch out for that. Please go for someone who has a track record, who's been in the game for some time, and who know what they are doing because you are the one who are going to pay for that service and it won't be cheap and as my father used to say pay cheap pay twice so you need to get that right person if you feel that myself is someone of interest to you or leslie tell drop me an email and we will send you some information put your phone number to, down we'll arrange to have a call we'll have a chat about your situation to see if we are a match for you and you're a match for us and then we can give you some information and see if you'd like to do any training with us. If it's not us, then please be careful on your journey to get to the right people because that is singly the most important thing that you get that information that is gonna help you be the best success that you can be to fulfill your potential because that's what you should be doing with the right mentor. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this short, um, short little clip, but just to think now, this is a beautiful cathedral, beautiful. Let me ask you something. The people who built this cathedral, do you think that they said, stuff it, we'll just build this massive thing. We don't need to know from anyone else who's built a building like this. Or do you think that they've gone from people who started to build something small, who started to build a bit bigger and they learned a bit more about foundations, something that was gonna last hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years or do you think and do you think they paid for that advice or do you think they say stuff it we know what we can do sometimes just watching videos and reading a few books just is not enough you need the hands-on i'm going to leave you with that thought i wish you all the best bye bye